Welcome. Let's take a look at a space probe in which it, the entirety of it is traveling at 50 meters per second. But in order to slow down, it can have an explosion. And explosively send these solar panels, separating away from them. So this one is going to be traveling at 200 meters per second at 30 degrees above the horizon. And this one is going to be traveling at 80 meters per second at 60 degrees below the horizon. So after this explosion happens, we want to know the final velocity of our probe. So in our sketch, we've done a before. Now this is an after. And we can add one more where we look at the interaction diagram. So we have our probe. We have panel one, and we have panel two. What's linking these together is some sort of explosion force during this explosion. So if we want to conserve momentum, we have to consider the entirety of this. as a single system. So if we do this, then we have right, all objects are in our system, which means that we have no external forces, which means that momentum was conserved. So in our organize, we're given a couple of things to know. The mass of the probe is 50 kilograms. The mass of panel one is 20 kilograms. The mass of panel two is 30 kilograms. And we're given these velocities. So something that we can do is we can take a look at the momentum bar charts in our x direction and momentum bar charts in our y direction. So in the x direction, we start out that our probe the momentum of our probe initial is going to be some amount. The momentum of panel 1 initial some amount plus the momentum of panel 2 initial slightly amount, and this is all in the x direction. And that's going to be equal to the momentum of our panel final in the x, momentum of or probe 1 in the x, panel 1 final in the x, panel 2 final in the x. So we don't know what any of these are, but we're assuming right it's going to be a little bit small because it's slowed down. And these we have some values for. Mainly it's just telling us right whether things are zero or not, and then that the sum of these three is going to be equal to the sum of these three. In the y direction, somewhat interestingly, right, the y momentum of this to the start, so P P I Y, P1 I Y, P2 I Y, all of these are zero because it's traveling just in the x direction. And then we don't yet know what the final velocity in the y, the final momentum in the y will be. But maybe we assume it's positive, And then we have a large amount of positive for our panel 1. And we've got some amount of negative for our panel 2. So what we can do is that we can then convert this into our equations. So we have panel 1 is going to be 50 kilograms times 50 meters per second. Panel, uh, sorry, panel 1 is going to be then 20 kilograms times 50 meters per second. 
and then our last is going to be 30 kilograms times 50 meters per second. And so all of that, we can then add all that up, and we get 5,000 kilogram meters per second. And that's going to be equal to 50 kilograms times v the final velocity of our panel in the x. And then we just need to do some trig for here. So we have 20 kilograms, 200 meters per second, and then we have cosine of 30 degrees, 30 kilograms times 80 meters per second, cosine of 60 degrees. We could say negative 60 degrees if we feel that we really want to, but right, these are both the same. So plug this a little bit into a calculator, and we get that our velocity final in the x is equal to 6.7 meters per second. So we can do the same for here, somewhat a little bit easier. So here, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is just equal to 0. And that's equal to then 50 kilograms times our final velocity of our panel in the y, 20 kilograms times 200 meters per second times sine of positive 30 degrees. And then we have 30 kilograms times 80 meters per second times sine of negative 60 degrees, which will give us that this is then negative. So solving for all of this, we get that VFY equals negative 1.57 meters per second. So we can combine this to find that our final velocity of our solar panel, of our probe, is 6.7 meters per second i hat plus, oh, positive 1.7 plus 1.57 meters per second j hat. So with this, if we conserve momentum, then we can just right, take a look at all of these individual terms and find them. And we were able to get two separate one equation, one unknown equations, which are able to solve for these individually. Uh, one thing to remember is that since it's an explosion, all of the initial velocities are the same. All of the initial velocities are the same.